you can imagine that um, I would, you can imagine that we're super sensitive because uh, of these new players. You know, you've got this 15-year game. It can't help but feel daunting in a way. You know, like a weekly updates means that it's stacked one on top of each other. Surely that feels quite daunting. And we are so sensitive to that, and we make sure that we place the player in a good, put the player on a good path. Um, for for us, we have a path system whereby a player comes in. We we find out what they like to do. You know, do they want to go questing? Do they want to go skilling? So while it's not a kind of prescriptive path. They can take it and explore for a strong period of time, and they can drop off that path whenever they want. But next year, you know, um, part of what I'm going to be talking about today is about really giving them kind of objectives and short-term goals that mean that okay, that you still feel like you're exploring this vast world with 15 years of content, but I'm doing it in the right way. I'm, I'm, I'm going to the content that's best suited to me, because um, obviously, yeah, we're aware that we are a bit of a big game now. <laughs> Um, and obviously you do yeah, I mean, ours, ours has got the same tutorial it had back in 2004. <laughs> well, to that, and that's <laughs> part of yeah. that retro feel. Exactly. So yeah. people log into it, they see Tutorial Island, they see the little house and the bloke with the red cap on, and they immediately recognise it. And like, well, in a moment, I'm yeah. going to be chopping down logs and making yeah. a fire. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, it's never going to be the best tutorial insofar as a modern game tutorial, but it's what players want to have. And the, the way I look at it is, why is the person looking at RuneScape? Where did they what made them think about RuneScape and how did they get there and if they get there through a route which um, which was for example the Deadman mode um, mode we bought out last year um, we've been doing an awful lot of live streams for it a lot of esports tournaments around it if that's bringing in the people they obviously want to go straight to old school because that's what they're watching on the big screen in the last tournament we had had 90,000 people watching it and those 90,000 people decided I'm going to play the game we don't want to drop them into RuneScape because the game they're watching is old school so immediately they'll go into old school so it's as much about understanding why they're looking at the game as to what is the best game for them and again we can start looking at if they're not liking one game how we transmission transfer them over to the other yeah. game and making sure that making sure that they stay within this you know this wonderful world that's RuneScape